My name is Bill Ismer, and I'm heart transplant patient 421. I received my gift of life October 28, 1999. Uh, I had been living on the, in my condo on the beach in Jupiter, Florida for three years after I'd retired, and I was in the best shape of my life, I thought, jogging five miles a day on, in the sugar sand and swimming in the ocean. I had a one-time heart attack that destroyed the heart, which brought me to Tampa General. When Bill was sick, his patients would have to come to Tampa General Hospital, be admitted, and stay in the hospital for quite some time waiting for a transplant. And in Bill's case, he was here for 11 months almost waiting for a transplant. So I would spend most of 1999 there waiting for the gift of life. And I developed relationships, uh, friendships. Uh, and there was one particular nurse that I really liked. And uh, she was just so special. She would have, she'd come in and spend time with me. And we've been together and married for 17 years. Mm -hmm. We've been incredibly blessed. Their eligibility for heart transplant based on their age or other comorbidities that they may have. We put patients down the pathway of either going straight to transplant, straight to ventricular assist device, or going to a ventricular assist device because they're too sick to wait for a transplant. So those are the decisions that we make at our medical review board meetings. Ventricular assist device is a machine, basically is a pump, that uh, is implanted attached to your heart in order to perform the function of the heart. Our patients mostly wait at home, either on intravenous medications or with implantable ventricular assist devices. Waiting for a heart transplant is like waiting for that phone to ring at two o'clock in the morning, at three o'clock in the morning, and flying out of bed when you're told, come to the hospital now. Those patients, when they come to us, Many times they have been turned down in different programs, they have been turned down on different institutions, you know, for treatment of heart failure, and uh, they're, that's the last stop. And after we discuss with them the plan of therapy, and they sign that consent to move forward with a heart transplant, it's a big deal. They're giving me the consent to remove their heart and put another heart on their body and hoping that we'll be able to do what we do our best. There's at least 40,000 Americans that could potentially benefit from heart transplant a year in the United States alone. And we do anywhere between 2,000 and 2,500 transplants in the U.S. So there's a humongous gap between the number of patients that could potentially benefit and the number of donors that are available. Quality of life goes from not being able to walk to the bathroom to having no limitations whatsoever on what they'd like to do. That's the most amazing part of heart transplant and believe it or not, within 24 to 48 hours after this major heart surgery, patients tell us they haven't felt this well in years. After receiving the gift of life and speaking to other patients who had heart transplants, they all said they received something special with the heart. In my case, I was playing in a church band. Playing, I've always played guitar and I was playing a church band. And the lady that played piano left. Uh, to, she, she married and moved out of state. So I sat at the piano while I could play it. So Bill's an amazing guy. Um, not only is he an organ recipient, his wife, who is his nurse, is an organ recipient. He actually comes to the ICU and plays music as a soothing effect for the patients who are going through some pretty stressful things. I play in a critical care unit, and many of them, it's pretty hectic, it's frantic. You, you know, they have codes running. These, these, they're very sick people. He's always there, always the guy that's gonna say yes. Tampa General has the best of the best in, in all categories. Uh, right, you know, down to the people that would clean the room, to the, to the dietitian people, uh, to every one of the nurses, they were just so incredible. Uh, of course, one in particular, and especially so. We do amazing things here for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of patients, and we make big differences in people's lives. Our heart transplant program is not only the biggest in the state, 
the first in the state, the most successful in the state. And again, we have done amazing things one patient at a time. Just to look in the face of those, you know, family members and in all the patients and see that you can make a difference in their lives, that you can really, really in the procedure, if you're good in what you do and do it diligently, you know, carefully, that you can make a real difference in someone's life. It's, it's incredible. The uh, Tampa General Hospital and the transplant program of Tampa General Hospital, I literally owe my life, life to it. They, uh, they brought me from a place uh, where I was barely alive mm -hmm. to a place that I could function in society and serve. I'm very, very blessed to have made this association with Tampa General and to get this heart and to get this beautiful wife of mine as well. It was just a, a, um, a blessing and a blessing.